All right. Well, let's pray. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Most glorious Prince of the Heavenly Army, St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in our battle against principalities and powers, against the rulers of this world of darkness, against the spirits of wickedness in the high places. Come to the assistance of men whom God has created to his likeness, and whom he has redeemed at a great price from the tyranny of the devil. Holy Church venerates thee as her guardian and protector. To thee the Lord has entrusted the souls of the redeemed to be led into heaven. Pray therefore the God of peace to crush Satan beneath our feet, that he may no longer retain men captive and do injury to the church. Offer our prayers to the Most High that without delay they may draw his mercy down upon us. Take hold of the dragon, the old serpent, which is the devil and Satan. Bind him and cast him into the bottomless pit so that he may no longer seduce the nations. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of Blessed Michael, the Archangel, of the Blessed Apostles, Peter and Paul, and all the saints, and powerful in the holy authority of our ministry, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. We read in Psalm 67, God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Within this home we say, Behold the cross of the Lord, flee bands of enemies. He has conquered the lion of the tribe of Judah, the offspring of David. May thy mercy, Lord, descend upon us, as great as our hope is in thee. We drive you from this home, whoever you may be, all unclean spirits, all satanic powers, all infernal invaders, all wicked legions, assemblies, and sects, in the name and by the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. May you be snatched away and driven from the church of God, and from the souls made to the image and likeness of God, and redeemed by the precious blood of the divine Lamb. Most cunning serpent, you shall no more dare to deceive the human race, persecute the church, torment God's elect, and sift them as wheat. The Most High God commands you, he with whom your great insolence you still claim to be equal. He who wants all people to be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. God the Father commands you. God the Son commands you. God the Holy Spirit commands you. Christ, God's Word made flesh, commands you. He who to save our race outdone through your envy, humbled himself, becoming obedient even unto death. He who has built his church on the firm rock and declared that the gates of hell should not prevail against her, because he will dwell with her all days, even to the end of the world. The sacred sign of the cross commands you as does also the power of the mysteries of the Christian faith. The glorious Mother of God, the Virgin Mary, commands you, she who by her humility and from the first moment of her immaculate conception crushed her proud head. The faith of the holy apostles Peter and Paul and of the other apostles commands you, the blood of the martyrs and the pious intercession of all the saints commands you. Thus, cursed dragon, and you diabolical legions, we yeah. adjure you by the living God, by the true God, by the holy God, by the God who so loved the world that he gave up his only Son, that every soul believing in him might not perish but have life everlasting. Stop deceiving human creatures no, and pouring out to them the dog. poison of eternal damnation. My Stop dog. harming the church and hindering her liberty. Be gone, Satan, inventor and master of all deceit, enemy of man's salvation. Give place to Christ in whom you have found none of your works. Give place to the one holy and apostolic church acquired by Christ at the price of his blood. Stoop beneath the all-powerful hand of God. Tremble and flee when we invoke the holy and terrible name of Jesus. This name which causes hell to tremble. This name to which the virtues, powers, and dominations of heaven are humbly submissive. This name which the cherubim and seraphim praise unceasingly, repeating, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord, the God of armies. O Lord, hear my prayer and let my cry come unto thee. May the Lord be with thee and with thy spirit. From the snares of the devil, deliver us, O Lord, that thy church may serve thee in peace and liberty. We beseech thee to hear us, that thou may crush down all enemies of thy church. We beseech thee to hear us. And loving God, we ask your blessing upon this room. We ask you to fill it with your presence and banish from it any evil spirits or restless spirits. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. <clears throat> o God of our salvation, you are great and fearsome to all around you. You are the one who set the heavens like a vault and made the earth in your might, who directs the universe in your wisdom. 
When earthquakes occur under heaven from the foundations, its pillars are unshaken. You speak and the sun does not shine. You seal the stars, you forbade the seas and dry them up. Authorities and dominions hide from your wrath, and the rocks trembles before you. You obliterated the gates of brass and demolished the bars of iron. You bound the mighty one and smashed his vessels. By your cross you cast down tyrants and drew in the serpent with the hook of your humanity. As the same Lord, the hope of those who place their confirmation in you, and the wall of might for those whose expectation is in you, anathematize, drive away, and transform all diabolical actions and all satanic indictments, all slanders of the adversary and of the powers lying under this roof. Free those bearing the sign which is awesome against demons and all evil spirits, the cross of your victory. And calling upon your gracious name, we ask you to banish from under this roof the presence of evil and all restless spirits. Yes, Lord, you drove away legions of demons and the demons and unclean spirits by which the deaf and the dumb were held. These you commanded to depart and not to return again. You have consumed all the armies of our invisible enemies and have made wise the faithful who have known you. For you said, Behold, I give you power to trample underfoot snakes and scorpions and all the power of enemies. Preserve, O oh Master, this family who lives in this house and keep them safe from all harm and every temptation from below, delivering them from fear of the feeble one and the arrows that fly by day from things proceeding from the darkness and attacks by demons at midday. Let your servants and your children, delighting in your help and preserved by armies of angels, faithfully sing with one accord, The Lord is my helper, and I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? And again, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. You are my confirmation, O God, mighty Master, Prince of Peace and Father of the Age to Come. For your kingdom is an eternal kingdom, to you alone is the kingdom and the power and the glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to ever of ages and ages. Amen. Amen. And we'll go and bless every room in the house. So I'll let you lead the way. So your presence and banishment, any restless spirits or any evil spirits, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God, we ask your blessing upon this room. Fill it with your presence and banish from any restless spirits or any evil spirits. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Sorry, Lydia. I think you know man's confused. <laughs> <laughs> the bathroom going around the clothes. Okay. Loving God, we ask your blessing upon this space, filled with your presence, banish from it any evil or any restless spirits, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving God, we ask your blessing upon this room, filled with your presence, banish from it any restless spirits or evil spirits, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We ask your blessing upon this room, fill it with your presence, and banish from it any evil or restless spirits. In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. God of virgins, God who has power to give life after death and rest after work, 
because there is no other God than thee, and there can be no other, for thou art the creator of all things, visible and invisible, of whose reign there shall be no end. We humbly prostrate ourselves before thy glorious majesty, and we beseech thee to deliver us by thy power from all the tyranny of the infernal spirits, from their snares, their lies, and their furious wickedness. Deign, O Lord, to grant us thy powerful protection, and to keep us safe and sound. We beseech thee, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. St. Michael, the archangel, defend us in the battle. Be our protection against the malice and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, cast into hell Satan and all the other evil spirits who roam through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. And loving God, in a very special way, we ask your blessing upon this family. We pray that you always be with them, to watch over them, bless and protect them, to keep them safe from any danger, especially any evil or presence that may have been in this home. We're confident of your great power, and we know that wherever you are present, that evil will flee, so that this family may be in this home and rest securely in your peace. We ask your blessing upon them now, in the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, there's a horse in the front yard. Yeah. <laughs> you have horses running around. <laughs> <laughs>